leash. Here's her two towels in case she rouse and in case you need to wipe her feet. Where are we going today? Arkansas! What's in Arkansas? The crater diamond and the water park. Yeah? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> So this is our home for the night. Uh, we are parked out here, courtesy of Boondockers Welcome. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice to be able to just come park somewhere, rest, and then head on to your destination later. So the water pressure here is supposedly silly high, uh, which is fine. We've got our pressure regulator, but I put it on the other end of the hose and I thought, well, I've heard stories about these zero-g hoses giving way under high pressure, so I thought it would be best to put it at the front of the hose rather than the back. Okay. Also, channel locks. Carry channel locks with you just in case. I'm sure it's been said time and time again, but we need channel locks to turn the water on. Okay. So, why are you happy today, wife? Because we found a Zaxby's. What's Zaxby's? It's a chicken place. It's really good. If you and I got to sit at our own little table. I know. And the kids have to sit over there. Date night. <laughs> it's cold in here though, so I want them to hurry up and finish eating so we can go back to the game. So the morning after boondocking, we are awake. We have had breakfast. Cars are gassed up and ready to go. Unhooking is taking place. <laughs> what road is this? What road are we on? Uh, we are on 67. It sounds like we're going to have 84 miles outside of Little Rock. And this road is awful. <laughs> we thought we had a tire problem, but we did not. Yeah, Arkansas, get yourself together and handle your roads. to leave, face the world on wheels, cross the borders of Morocco, take a journey to Dubai, fight the pirates stuck in Disneyland Paris, take a swim in salty water to this crazy melody, oh, and then we cross America. All right, so we made it here to Crater of Diamonds State Park. Um, it's our first time in an Arkansas State Park, and uh, it's pretty nice. We like it. I mean, it compares to some of the better Missouri State Parks uh, pretty well. You've got nice big roads. Um, that shower house looks nice. We haven't been inside yet, but uh, imagine it's clean. I mean, look at these sites, though. These are nice. And uh, there's our site. We actually have a very interesting site, so... Um, it's a good, easy back end for us. Um, we're a little crooked, but that's just kind of how we do. A little lopsided. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to go look for trash. Perfect. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, but, so you've got this little area here to hang out. And then it steps up the hillside to the picnic area and the fire pit area, which... Um, we'll actually put our fire pit up here, our little solo stove. We've got Malcolm, and we've got Zoe. What do you got, pal? My flower's castle! Wow! Who lives in that castle? My flower! Your flower? Yep. What kind of flower is it? A dandelion, a 
Perfect. Um, so there's woods back here and it looks like there's little trails. We we just got here and got set up so we haven't uh, had the opportunity to explore. So all these campsites seem pretty nice. Um, but if you're ever down here, Site 33 is pretty amazing. I'll show you the back side of it here. So we've got our little flower lights set up, our chairs, our little lights, the kids hanging out. And then back here is all your connections. So you got your um, sewer, full hookup site, sewer 2050 and 30 amp, or 15, 30 and 50 amp. Um, water, sewer, everything's good. Um, slightly unlevel, so we had to level it just a little bit, just put one block down, and, and then it all drops off back here. But, I mean, we don't ever use the back side of the trailer anyway. Backs up down here, this is nice and private. Um, and like I said, there's, there's plenty of, I mean, it's sunny now, but a lot of good shade trees here. This is a, a good spot. We did good. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? You I'm ready. Take your money to pay. I did. We paid. We're ready. We're ready. Use that energy. Find us diamonds. hot. If the sun would go behind some clouds for a while, it would be really, really beautiful out here. But it's, uh, it's dusty and dirty and fantastic. I think everybody's having an entertaining time. My bucket is full of things to sift through. I found one potential sparkly object, a whole lot of quartz, and this neat chunk of like multi, multi-colored quartz. That looks almost like rose quartz to me. I've got yellow quartz in here. I've never seen that. So it's pretty cool. So I thought I would hang on to those because I like them and they're pretty. So here we are, day two, digging for diamonds. We're down one. The eldest child decided to stay back at the camper and hang out with the dog today. So it's just Katie and Mal and I and the 17 year old. And I think we're gonna focus mostly on surface searching today and a little bit of um, wet sifting. The dry sifting was not very productive and took a long time. So I think we're gonna process a lot more dirt today. We're going to go past the first wash station, around the corner near that pavilion over there. Um, there will be some shade falling on that side of the field, and we'll be close in between the two watch wash the dip. stations. Yeah. So that's where I'm feeling it for today, because everybody seems to be in the field that we were at yesterday. Scott just took two buckets of gravel up to the wash station. I've left the kiddos in the shade because it's pretty hot. So they're cooling off in the shade and I'm going to go up and see how he's doing with the, um, with the sifting. Okay, so what are we doing? So we are wet sifting. Okay. Um, dirt that we dug up and this is our uh, day two 
we met some very awesome people this morning that really gave us some good tips, um, not only on what to look for when digging, but how to dig and how to how to wet sift. Yes, we so, were doing it wrong. We were, we were. Um, so first thing we want to there's furrows. You've seen these in the video already. Um, you want to look through the sides where the furrows kind of cave in and then you want to dig up uh, the loose dirt and gravel. Um, put those in your buckets, your wheelbarrow, whatever, and bring it all back to the sift station. And you basically you want two screens. One's got a bigger, um, bigger screen and the other one's smaller. So you'll stack them. Uh-huh. All right. Take some of your dug dirt. Shake it out a little bit and then you're just gonna wet set this. Basically you wanna wash all the dirt off, let the smaller stuff fall through. Sorry. Then you definitely wanna look through it. There's Yeah, I've been taking out big chunks of quartz. Yeah, you're gonna find big chunks of quartz and other stuff here. So you can find more than just diamonds and quartz at Crater of Diamond State Park. You can find um, amethyst. Oh, here's a big, look, 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 here we go. It's a big chunk of quartz right there. Super pretty. And then this is where the, the real stuff comes in. Um, so you want to do the sifting thing where you want to get some of this dirt off, right? So you're not playing? Just through it. Yes. And then, so the thing is, because the diamonds and the fun stuff are heavier, you want to get them to fall to the center. So you do a rock and forth until you make kind of a loaf. Yes. And then tap underneath and rotate it. Make another loaf. Rotate. Flip it over, you always flip it towards you to keep it from spreading, I guess. And then in the center of your pie that you flip should be all the good stuff. All and the then, heavy stuff. Yep, and then they say to look through it, keep that center, take it home, let it dry out like on a baking sheet or something. Let's do it again. Yep. We need this. All right, let's see if we can do it a second uh, time. Oh yeah, there's our yeah. center right there. Only The little town square of Murfreeze, Murfreesboro. Yeah. Yeah. What do they have here? Um, well, they have a lot of the antique stores, and it's just outside the Crater of Diamond State Park. So we're gonna look around, do touristy stuff. Yay! Touristy stuff. So what's the name of this place? Hawkins. It is Hawkins. Um, Hawkins Belly, Hawkins something, I don't know. But Hawkins. And then string Hawkins Variety Store. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna do this wrap up real quick and I have a blank space next to me because Scott got called into a work thing. <laughs> like we were outside getting um, getting the, the last of the, the jack stands and things like that up and his phone rang and it was work. So it's just me. Yay. Um, 
So we're gonna head home today. We are not gonna boondock. Uh, we decided the drive was pretty easy from, from Murfreesboro to St. Louis is not gonna take us all day. So we're just gonna drive straight through and we've had a fantastic trip. It's been a beautiful week here in Arkansas. The weather has been amazing, except for today it's, uh, as you can tell, it's a little humid um, and gray skies, but, oh, and a giant spider web over our trailer. So there's spiders everywhere here. And the biggest stick bug I've ever seen in the wild um, was on one of the jack stands this morning. So that was, that was a thrill for Malcolm, a little less for me. Those things creep me out, but anyway, um, we have had the best week ever here. Uh, this state park, Crater of Diamonds State Park, is fantastic. I have loved our camping site, um, and all of the sites out here are like this. They all have fantastic platforms that are set aside from the driveways, um, the tent camping, there's platforms everywhere, there's plenty of trees for hammocks, lots of tree cover. Um, it's been kind of surreal because we'll be waking up at you know, eight in the morning, we've been sleeping in a lot. So we've been waking up at eight in the morning and it feels earlier than that because it takes a while for the sun to get down below the, these beautiful trees. See, look at all these tall, tall trees. So, um, but yeah, the campsite is lovely. We had so much fun playing in the diamond field, um, going into town. Oh, that reminds me. Hawkins Variety Store is in Murfreesboro. It's around the little circle there. And if you're ever in town at the Diamond Field, you should make it a point to go in and at least have dessert there. Some of the best pastries I have ever had in my life. And my crew enjoyed the ice cream as well. So check out Hawkins Variety Store. Um, I actually picked up a bottle of salad dressing to take home because they had um, like a sweet onion ranch and that is totally my jam or my dressing. So um, yeah, we've had a great time. It's been a wonderful trip. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment if you've been in this area. If you're planning on coming down here, we'd love to hear about it. Um, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We try to put out new videos every single week about random things, our travels, our trips, product reviews, maybe a few recipes here and there. So it was fun, fun trip and we'll see you next time.